Latasha Lee. Latasha Lee. I am just obsessed with her music. I don't know if they're all remixes or if they're original songs, but I love her soulful spirit. Her old school sound. It just, she just does something to my soul and my spirit. I would check her out highly recommend her music like I said I think she does some remixes some covers but I don't know what percentage of the music is her own I like when she sings it mm. so I am enjoying Carrie Kate from Sydney's birthday Bobby made it, but Bobby didn't put enough frosting. She'd be trying to save the frosting. So she put the frosting on like she was putting on some mustard. No. <laughs> you really got to put some frosting up on there. Because with each bite, I want some good frosting in this um, cream cheese frosting. Cream cheese frosting is very easy to make. Cream cheese. Two packs of cream cheese. Maybe a half a stick of butter. I like to put cinnamon or vanilla a little bit. I don't think she did either. But um, there are certain things I do. I guess I got to write that down. Got to put a little cinnamon and carrot cake for the frosting. Cream cheese frosting. So good. Now, I have been making this carrot cake for many, many years. I also used to sell it to a restaurant downtown Houston. I used to bake a lot, guys. I used to sell my baked goods and everything. There's a lot I used to do. But this one is, I call it my secret recipe. <laughs> but I think if you find a recipe and I've tweaked it over the years, so I've been making this almost 20 years. But you guys may not like everything that goes into my carrot cake. But I've had people eat my carrot cake. Who didn't like carrot cake. And fell in love with mine. You may not like all the ingredients. That's fine. I think it's, it's crazy on YouTube how YouTubers have to say. It may not work for you. You might not like it, but this would all like. You know, we almost have to have that disclaimer and everything because people are like, Bleh. but in my carrot cake, that's all I'm telling you. Okay. I have crushed banana, which helps your cakes become moist. I do put in some sour cream in my cake. You could put sour cream just about in any cake um, and it'll make your cake moist. Um, crushed pineapples, of course, nuts. I don't put raisins. Um, crushed pineapples, bananas, and carrots. And I feel as though the carrot cake recipes are just all about the same. But those are the things that I put in mind that's not in every recipe. I add crushed pineapples, banana, sour cream, and carrots. Delicious. 
bought some nuts. I've I've used a cross between walnuts and um pecans. Um, sometimes the walnuts are a little cheaper, so it's whatever they have on sale or whatever my hand decides to grab. Mm hmm and it's good. But it's a lot of work. Because you got to peel your carrots. Get fresh carrots. Peel the carrots. Put the carrots in the food processor. It's a lot of work, so... I may only make the cake once or twice a year. That's it. Better be a birthday. So like I said before in another, I think in a post, I've made every birthday cake um, for my kids since they were born. They've never had a store-bought cake. And my kids have never had jar baby food, which is nothing wrong with that at all. It was just a choice that I made. And even if my kids go to a party, they won't even eat the cake. Or they might, or if there's a cupcake, they'll scrape off all the frosting and they might eat the cupcake part but nine times out of ten mm -mm. like all the cakes with all the cream the whipped cream frosting and stuff none of us like that and so um they won't eat it so for birthdays it's either carrot cake my little chocolate things that i make it's like a cross between a brownie and a cupcake it, it, we can't decide what it is, but it's good. You know I make everything good. And then, um, sweet potato pie. So it's one of the three things I have not, I have not deviated from any of those for birthdays. No. No, it's usually one of those three. We're not big, we're not a big sweet family around here. So even chocolate, none of us are chocolate fans. We'll eat it a little piece here and there. Once in a blue moon, I can eat my favorite, which is a Cadbury bar, the fruit, the fruit and nut Cadbury bar. I like that sometimes. And I think I used to, what my business was called Rack Delicious. And a lot of you know this already took me to Hollywood, blah, blah, blah. And I used to wrap uh, design labels to go on just about anything. If there was a label or a tag, I could design it. And so that's what took me to Hollywood. I went another product that I had. So, in the majority of my orders were for um, candy bars. And I would put a personalized wrapper on the candy bar. I did that for almost 10 years. So... And that's what I did exclusively for a long time. For many, many years, I just hustled my business. So, I think we kind of got tired of the chocolate bars. So, like a Hershey's chocolate bar? Mm, 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 mm. We might, once a year, have one with nuts. <laughs> you know, I don't mind the one with nuts. So we might, if we eat a chocolate bar, maybe once a year. So we're not like chocolate, chocolate fans. I know some people go crazy over chocolate. We're not crazy over chocolate, not crazy over sweets. No, we, we like our salt and savory. Okay. And if I'm going to waste my calories on something, give me something good to eat. Okay. Give me something good. So... Real quick, one of my subscribers, right? She, I don't know who it was, mentioned when I did my Burger King video, and I was saying, well, what's your favorite burger, blah, blah, blah. And she mentioned McDonald's is hitting with the, I think she said a double cheeseburger or a double patty. Oh, my friend is calling. Hold on. Oh, LaShawn. What up, Trump? How you doing? Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me let me let me close this out, sis. Let me close this out. Okay, girl. And honey, she had she okay, okay. she told me wait. Hold on, girl. Calm down. And she told me to get that double patty with mac sauce. Good. It was good, y'all. I tried it the other day when I was waiting for the girls to basketball. Oh, it's cold. Tell y'all, I'm gonna get y'all cold this water good sometimes water hits the spot but you have it in this you be like oh my goal is to drink like five of these a day so it's just a nice guy for me to have too and i love my cold water so there we go 
So anyway, I got a call today. Well, I noticed a call on my phone. And it was the AP from my school. And I don't know, I guess I just have flashbacks because I hope I'm clear. Because I got in trouble so much. <laughs> And I, as soon as I saw her, as soon as I saw her name, I was like, oh God, what did I do now? So that, so, so it's like, as soon as I see her, I kind of tense up. So when I saw her name flash across my phone, I was like, what did I do now? You know? And she, um, well, I had spoken to my principal. He asked me if I had read an email from school. No, I have not. But now that you mentioned it, maybe I'll go on over and open a school email. See what's going on. <laughs> so it seems like we will be starting school on time. So I go back in less than two weeks. Oh my God, where did the time go? And um, what they have done though, they kind of said that we have to be certified for online teaching. I guess it's something that the district is doing and it is a lot. Let me tell you, it is a lot of stuff um, that we have to accomplish and complete before school starts. I think it, it bleeds into a little bit in August. Ooh, there's a little gnat over here. It bleeds in a little bit into August, but it's a lot of stuff. A lot of training that we have to do. Um, I think they're going to have a lot of kids do online schooling. They sent out a survey. So a lot of the kids chose or parents chose whether or not they want their kids in the classroom. But here's the kicker. I know a group of people who make decisions. I don't know if it was my district. No, because I think it was coming from Austin maybe. I don't know. Um, policy makers for the schools, I don't know, board members got together to meet to discuss what was going to happen um, in August. <clears throat> but they didn't want to meet because of COVID-19. And so they held this meeting via Zoom. Here's the kicker. So you held this meeting via Zoom because it was too dangerous to meet in person to discuss what hundreds of thousands of kids um, are going to do when the new school year starts or whatever. But then again, you made this decision via Zoom, but you're willing to send hundreds of thousands of kids to school to be back in these classrooms. But 12 of you, well, however many it was, but 12 of y'all couldn't meet. But then you put, you know, uh, these kids in the classrooms with the teacher or with each other exposed to hundreds of kids all day. Does that seem a little ironic to you? I call that an oxymoron. That's what I call that. That's the ultimate oxymoron. Y'all can't meet, but uh, you know, teachers can be exposed to thousands of kids, hundreds of kids, to always this and that. So I don't know. I just thought that was <laughs> just thought that was a little odd. So anyway, so we go back to school, have to do intense training, and I was concerned, when can I get in my classroom to start working on my classroom, honey? So she just texted me back, child, they done moved all my stuff to the new classroom. And it, I felt bad, I felt so, I really felt bad because I was like, I could have gone up to the school, I would have moved that stuff. You know, Bobby, she's like my ride or die. She always helps me with the classroom. You know, I would have packed up my girls. So I would have moved my stuff. So, I, you know, you know, the maintenance people, they did all that. I was like, and then they had to move the stuff that was in the classroom out because I asked for my classroom to be 100% empty. And I don't know the setup. So I was asked to teach four classes. So I teach four, I'll teach four classes in a classroom. I don't know who that is. I'll teach four classes in a classroom and then I'll have two online classes. So, I don't mind, I really don't mind the online classes and if it's going to mirror what we're doing inside the classroom, that's fine. I feel as though there's less kids in the classroom. I don't mind the smaller class sizes because my first four years of teaching was for um, smaller class sizes, but I dealt with, with um, lots of behavior. So I just, you know, I don't mind. I just like, I don't want to deal with the behavior. I really don't. I think I'm over the behavior stuff. And so I'm interested to see how it's going to go. 
I feel a little nervous at the same time. We've been out of school so long. I go back to school um, the first week in August. My kids' teachers probably go back the week after me. My kids are doing online schooling for the first nine weeks of school or something until Labor Day. So everything is different. I thought, so we'll... Uh, it's gonna change. It's like everything's up in the air. So I, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, you'll know when I know. <laughs> so it's just so, so many unknowns that's going on. So, whew. and I'm trying to get all the doctor's appointments in before school starts because none of my doctors are, unless it's a sick visit. There's certain doctors you can find on it on a Saturday. But none of my doctors are available. You know, I'm at school. By the time I get out of school and make it to this side of town, they close. So I'm trying my best. Well, I have to take the day off and leave early. So I'm trying my best to get all my appointments in before school starts. We've been going back and forth to the doctor. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So with that said, um, it's, it's a lot. I do feel <laughs> a little anxiety. I do. I do feel a little anxiety, a little anxious. Um, you know, I just don't know what's going on. My sleep pattern is off. You know, it's gonna take time to get back into that, ooh, get back into that role. I don't know, but I don't know if, I, you know, I'll let you guys know, child, but my nerves are starting to get bad. I have a puzzle sitting out there. I may just have to put that puzzle away because now I have to sit my tail down to do all of this new online learning. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Let's see the AP text me back. What'd she say? <sighs> um, so she's not sure when I can get into the building. Um, he'll have an answer for everyone this week. But everyone's room doesn't look like mine. My room takes a little longer. Even last year, I guess everything is up in the air. He doesn't even know. But even last year, I was the only teacher after school working on a room. And so what happens, let me just, this is my last thing, y'all. So what happens when you go back to school, they do not give you a lot of time to fix up your classroom. I'm committed. That's my thing. It's, that's just my thing is fixing up my classroom. And it really takes me, I would say, three to four weeks to flip a room. So what happens if I have to go into school when everybody else goes into school, when we go back to school on August 3rd, there's no time. It's, it's training after training and training. Or else I'm staying at the school until maintenance kicks me out. So there's really no time. And so then I have that pressure of the trainings and doing all the extra work that they need me to do and preparing paperwork and online stuff while trying to fix up a room it it's gonna be too it's gonna be too much for me right here <laughs> and then my kids they have their stuff that they're doing i have the only car it's going to be too much <laughs> so that's why i kind of wanted to just have my room done and then I could just focus on the next phase to get my to wrap my brain all around all of this craziness that's about to happen. And um, I'm oh, let me show y'all this. I just got these masks from Jackie Newton. She got masks for the girls and I. We all got our own pack of masks, and they are so adorable. So there are five masks. They all we all got the same. So I'm about to put my name on mine some kind of way. So this is one. It's like a tie dye tie-dye it looks like uh myamar i don't know great great quality a leopard i'm not leopard print <laughs> like an army print that's cute leopard print i knew it was a leopard print that's why i said that you really can't see this one leopard print then this one i wore this one yesterday we picked them up yesterday i wore this one yesterday and then we got the blue print Got this one. This one. And they're really cute. But I will say these kind of smash on my face a lot. So it's like, I don't really wear foundation anymore. Like I don't have foundation on now. 
um, because as soon as you put the mask on, foundation gone. So I do put my eyelashes on, that's what I do, okay? Because your foundation gonna come off in your mask, so what's the point? But this is so cute. We love the girls absolutely love them, right? Cute, but it still smashes on my nose and on my lips. So if I have to wear a mask for seven hours, that oh god. Oh my god. Guys, I don't know. I think I'm gonna want a mask that kind of cups out you know what i'm saying it's like a hard mask. i don't know i gotta do an internet search but you know what i'm saying not one that's like a material maybe I, I, maybe i should look for a gas mask i don't know I, look i don't know and i think this is a big thing they're gonna want the teachers that have a plexiglass on their desk so if a kid comes up to your desk you don't need to come up to my desk raise your hand because we're not allowed to sit down anyway so that doesn't even make sense to me why would we need a plexiglass because they don't want teachers sitting at all so why would a kid come up to my desk if i'm if i'm walking the room does that make sense think about that Think about it. and I don't think they want I don't think I, I'm sure everything will be revealed soon but I don't think they want us to do small group I didn't really do too much of that anyway but it was something that I plan to do this year then will we have time to sanitize our classes in between each class will we have enough time to do that then they want all this distancing in the classroom so I don't know so will they give us time to san sanitize after every class I don't, I don't know. I do. I don't know, guys. Your guess is as good as mine. Mm. All right. I done ran my mouth. No. <laughs> All right, guys. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. So make sure you check out the coldest water in your link below. But these are so awesome. I just love cold water. You know, I love my ice. You know, I, I'm, all right, that's a whole nother video, y'all. Maybe I'll just do another video. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, later.